Hi, I'm Stephen, and this is Cherry Knoll Whiskey Reviews. Do a review on Maker's Mark number 46. So this is their French Oak Stave project or release. I, either one. I, I'm pretty sure it's become kind of one of their more standard bottles nowadays. Uh, it's got, uh, this says, it's got 10 French oak staves, virgin, so they haven't been used for anything else. Uh, is 94 proof, and that's about it. So the French oak staves are in a finishing process. So I think what they do is they've got a completely separate barrel that is going to have uh, the French oak staves uh, within the barrel, whether it is the barrel itself has 10 staves that are French oak, or what have you. Still screw top just like their standard makers mark. So the French oak is supposed to impart a little bit of spice with vanillas and caramels kind of amping up the already kind of sweet vanilla creaminess that Maker's Mark already has in it. Um, pretty much Maker's Mark is the one of the larger weeded bourbons that are found almost always on a shelf, which makes them a staple as far as weeded bourbons go, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but they're known for being very smooth, very sweet, easy drinking and just you know one of those big names that you can go to a bar or anywhere and find it get a glass get a mixed drink with it uh, i use their standard lineup as one of my mixing whiskeys and it makes great mixed drinks so so far on the nose of this bottle it's very in line with their standard lineup as far as, you know, the standard red berry sweetness, light touches of caramel, and that's about it. Maybe a little bit of vanilla in the nosing, but for the most part, it's just a super sweet and easygoing whiskey. Yeah, with the taste, I think it more of the French oak comes through. Um, you get just the slightest bit more spice within the sip, and then it kind of rolls into the sweet red berries that you get from wheat, wheated bourbons, and then you get caramels with a lot more vanilla than I remember on the standard maker's mark. I think this would be a, a interesting bottle to put up against uh, Weller. Kind of see where it kind of lies within that because I do get uh, reminiscent tastings from their kosher wheat uh, a little bit of that spiciness and just kind of interesting vanillas and caramels in there. But yeah, I think this would probably stand up to, if not, be right in line with the Weller lineup. So if you guys want to see us do a blind tasting where we throw this in with a bunch of the Wellers and Buffalo Trace weeded mash bill, let us know.
and kind of figure out exactly where this bottle itself stands in that kind of lineup that a lot of people chase. You know, this bottle you can pick up almost anywhere. While the Wellers, depending on what state you're in, you may have never even seen one on a shelf, not behind a glass case marked up, you know, tenfold what it should be. But, uh, yeah, the, the little bit of spice from the French oak, caramels, vanillas, and a slight oakiness at the end. Uh, very simple. Uh, I'm not going to call it basic because it's not basic. It's got more than their basic offering. But it's like the, the next step up. So if you like Maker's Mark, but you're looking for something a little bit more and you can't find any of their you know, yearly releases. I think this year's was uh, BEP, which I have not found yet. Uh, all the stores around me say they haven't even gotten any indication of when they might see them, if they're going to see them at all this year. So hopefully I'll get my hands on those and then we can kind of compare you know, this year's to the 46. If not, we can always go back to last year's BRT 01 and 02 to kind of compare to this if you guys want to see a lot more weeded content. But uh, that's it for today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.